Welcome to GRE Mnemonics video number 81. A quick review of video number 80. The moon caused high tides and Ben moaned when the muddy waves washed him. Benton seeks the blessings of Pope Benedict. Ben's office was in a church where funds were allocated for maintaining of divine service. Because he was doing good, to all by offering free chats, Ben would get free facials in his city. A wealthy tractor company owner funds and gifts him a tractor. Let's learn and understand today's set of GRE words. Intemperance, immoderate action or indulgence as of the appetites. Clue, eating a ton of prunes. Visualize. A movie named Temper Prunes is screened and the audience couldn't stop holding themselves from munching away the prunes. Your uncle shows intemperance when he yells furiously at everyone around him every time he feels angry. Intemperance is when you can't do anything halfway or hold yourself back. You might describe your inability to eat a single slice of cake instead gobbling the whole thing as intemperance. When someone isn't able to temper or moderate his actions, he is at risk of intemperance. The opposite of intemperance is moderation. The Latin root word intemperantia means immoderation or excess and was originally used in English to describe the weather. Benign, kindly, favorable, not malignant. Clue, be kind to canine. Visualize, the movie shows an actor who meets a dog at 9 and gives it prunes. He is kind to the canines and all other organisms. A benign soul wouldn't hurt a fly and it's hard to get mad at someone who has a benign disposition. Someone or something that is benign is gentle, kind, mild or unharmful. Benign describes a range of qualities, all of them positive. When talking about a person, it means gentle. In reference to weather or climate, it means mild. In some other contexts, it simply means not harmful. You might speak of a benign tumor or an environmentally benign chemical. The word comes from a Latin root, benignus, meaning well-born. But the implied meaning is kind or pleasant. It's hard to get mad at someone who has a benign disposition. Egress, act of coming or going out, emergence, right to leave, path or opening for going out, clue, egg rush to exit. Visualize, midway through the movie, leaving the hall, an egg rushes towards the exit. It was a beautiful old house, but they needed outdoor fire stairs for reaching the upper floors without enough base of egress. If you want to leave a place, you need a means of egress or a way to exit, such as a door or window. Egress comes from a Latin word meaning going out. An egress is basically the same thing as an exit. Egress can also be used as a verb to exit, but less frequently than as a noun. When buildings undergo inspection, one of the main safety features under review is the number and placement of doors and windows, the means of egress in case of fire or other emergency. Interdict Authoritative act of prohibition Clue Stopping during the intermission Visualize Since it was only an interval, the staff prohibits the egg from proceeding as the weather was terrible. If your parents find out you are planning a party for a time when they are away, they will interdict it. Interdict means to forbid, to nix, to veto. To interdict Pope style is to, in essence, excommunicate or prohibit a person or especially a place from the functions and privileges of the church. Egregious, notorious, conspicuously bad or shocking. Clue, egg in a juice. It's a shocking situation.
visualize, the egg makes a fatal error and gets caught in a disaster like an egg in a juicer. If you make an egregious error during a championship soccer match, your coach might bench you for the rest of the game. An egregious error is so bad that it might not be forgivable. Something that is egregious stands out, but not in a good way. It means really bad or offensive. Some synonyms are appalling and intolerable. The word has made a 180 degree turn from its original sense in Latin when it meant exceptionally good. Be careful not to use it to mean outstanding since no one wants to be called egregious. Let's summarize using this short story. A movie named Temper Prunes is screened and the audience couldn't stop holding themselves from munching away the prunes. The movie shows an actor who meets a dog at 9 and is kind to canines and all other organisms. Midway through the movie, leaving the hall, an egg rushes towards the exit. Since it was only an interval, the staff prohibits the egg from proceeding as the weather was terrible. The egg makes a fatal error and gets caught in a disaster like an egg in a juicer. Time for a quiz. Do you remember the word which means notorious, conspicuously bad or shocking? Do you remember the meaning for the word intemperance? Do you remember the word as well as the meaning associated with this mnemonic? We hope you got all three of them right. In case you haven't, please feel free to watch the video again. Let us know about your experience here till we meet next with the next set of GRE words. Thank you.